bags were whore lies. Hey, I'm Sam. I'm your Thursday guy for body bags, and this week I am doing none other than the classic Whore Express movie. The movie was made in 1972. I it could be 73. No, I'm pretty sure it's 72. It's something like that. It's gonna be in the description. I just lost it in my head for a second. Anyways, point is, Horror Express, I love the movie, okay? It has a couple problems, but other than those small problems, the movie in itself is really good. All right, so the movie is about this guy um, who finds this uh, a man ape looking kind of creature in uh, Manchuria in some mountains, and he's gonna, he was gonna, he's, well, he's gonna bring it back to England so that, you know, it could be like, oh, I found a discovery kind of thing. And you could take this train that, you know, it's gonna be from like China to like, you know, France or whatever. I don't know how that was gonna work out or someplace in Russia. Anyways, point is, um, when they're on the train, the creature wakes up, gets out, and basically starts killing people. And in short terms, if I was just to go and give you like a few words on how to describe this movie, it's like if Who Goes There took place on a train. And so I like the movie, and it's one of those movies where they have like two really big stars, and the rest are like almost no names. Um, like, all right, so there's like two characters. Well, not even that. There's two actors. All right, my bad. The two actors of the movie that are like huge, right? Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee. Come on. If you have those two in a movie together, the movie's gonna be golden. Okay, it's just it's just how it is. It's just how it is. Um, and so you know, the movie was made like 50 years ago. So I'm gonna spoil a couple things. So if you haven't, you know, seen the movie yet, go watch the movie. It's on Amazon. It's on places like that, or just go buy it on Amazon for like 20, 30 dollars. It's not that bad of a movie and it's definitely worth the watch without getting spoiled. So, um, first off, if there was anything I didn't, there was like two things I didn't like about the movie. One was like just an error of the movie that was, you know, ongoing throughout it. But the other one was just how they did a character. And that was the monk, monk character. So, you know, going back into the movie, you know, at the beginning of the movie, he's like, you know, this strict kind of like Christian looking figure, he's like, it's a holy, you're not, you know, it's evil, you gotta destroy it, oh, whatever, right? And basically by the end of the movie, he's like, oh, you know, because he thinks that, like, the monster in the movie is, like, the devil or something. He's like, let me, I'm your, like, you know, servant or whatever. And he's basically like, um, he's like, uh, what's that character from Dracula? That's always like, master, master, you know, high, Renfield. Um, or, you know, at least in the original, that was his name. Um, except he chooses to be like this, and I'm just like, bro, all right, I get what you're trying to, like, why he decided to go and switch character like that, which was, you know, the whole thing with, like, the monster was that it was, you know, came from outer space, you know, a long time ago, like, millions of years ago, and, you know, the pre the guy, the priest ends up finding out about it, or whatever, the monk, whatever, ends up finding out like that about it, and it's kind of, it's kind of like, I mean, I guess it could work, but like, really? Like, I'm, I'm sure he could have done a better job with that, but it's, you know, whatever. I just, I just thought he could have done a better job, to be honest. Um, sorry, I just heard something. That was weird. Anyways, um, so, and then, alright, so then that was the first problem I had with the movie, but then the second problem was uh, how the movie was edited. It just felt weird. The transitions at times were kind of questionable. Dialogue at times was kind of questionable. Like, I'm, I'm sure the movie would have been a lot better if there was like 30 minutes added to it or something like that. But I mean, other than those two things, I think the movie was a really nice movie. Um, I thought it was pretty interesting. Some ideas and some story elements worked out, I would say. Um, so in the end of the day, like if I was just if I was gonna rate it because of, you know bias or whatever, I would go and be like, hey, I'm gonna go and give it a uh, nine point five kind of thing because I really like the movie. But being realistic and looking at how the movie is as a whole, I would probably just give it a seven point five because you need at least to have something solid. You need to have some things like it needs to work, right? You need to have 
you know, a story that works, you need characters that work, you need a plot that works, you need a soundtrack that works, you need everything, you know, everything that about a movie needs to work. And editing is one of those things that needs to work. And in the movie, it kind of did, but kind of didn't. And so it was kind of questionable. But other than that, it was a really nice movie. And I think everyone that watches this video should watch it. And if they've already seen it, watch it again. It's a really nice movie. Anyways, I'm Sam. The movie was Horror Express. Oh, well, I was about to already end the video. I completely forgot. Okay. So as I was saying earlier... <laughs> As I was saying earlier, the movie was the kind of the movie was the kind of movie where like everyone that's in it, it's like two big actors and then everyone else in, are no names. Um, but one of the actors, I forgot what the name is. I'll have the name in the description and who he played, I guess, in you know the movie that I'm about to mention. But like there wasn't a there was an actor that was in this movie that eight years later would go on and play in Nightmare City and I thought that was interesting that you had like some you know one no-name guy that ended up being in some bigger movie a few years later I'll, as I said I was gonna put it in the description but anyways point is the movie was pretty solid I really like it only real problems was just a, a story aspect and um, the editing but I mean other than that it was a really nice movie and if you haven't seen it watch it and if you um, have seen it watch it again it's a really good movie it's almost like you know you read who goes there and it's that kind of story where you go and be like you know what i'm gonna go and read it again because it's so good kind of thing anyways now i'm sam i'm your thursday guy for body bags and i'll see you next week